Hello you guys, Lisa here, and I am here to show you my digital mug rug kit called Love Letters. I am so excited. Let me just show you this mug rug real quick. This is just one variation of the mug rug that you can create using this kit. I combined some store-bought fabrics with my digital prints and created this mug rug with a little postcard. <laughs> I love it so much. Let's take a look at this digital kit. This digital kit has two folders, the first folder being instructions and the second folder being your printables. The instructions include a cover sheet for you to put in your folder. You can just see from this cover sheet all of the different kind of variations, things that you could do with these printables. It tells you what all is included in your kit and some different ways that you could use it. Very simple, basic instructions, you guys. It tells you the size of your backing fabric, your batting. It tells you that you'll need 50 inches of traditional binding or you can use the back as your binding. And if you need to see a video on that, I do have a video on how to do that on my channel. Uh, it tells you the measurements of your main block. Each mug rug has a main block, and that's this block here. And then there's two different variations you could do. A larger side piece or two um, strips of four blocks, which you could put on either side or both on one side. And that's really what this next page shows you, is the different ways you can construct your mug rug to give you a different look. This look here is what I did with this one. And then some more uh, simple instructions and different embellishment ideas like using stamps to uh, embellish your quilt. And this is the last page of the instructions. And then you get into folder number two, which is actually your printables. Now, you can print off one page at a time. You don't have to print the whole kit at one time. You can pick and choose which pages you want to print. There's three full-size 8.5 by 11 sheets of background. And this one here is really awesome because this is a love letter that I typed up and gave a really cool vintage-looking font to. I'll show you what that looks like printed out. Just like this and it is the background that I used for this quilt here so that's really fun if you need to see how to print your images on fabric I'm going to put a link to a video where I show you how you can do this using freezer paper in the description box below so you have the love letter you have a heart background and a swirl background to choose from. And then you have two different backgrounds that you could use as your solid piece on one side. And then I created eight different smaller backgrounds that you could use in place of store-bought fabric in these places here. And let me show you what this looks like printed on fabric. So that's printed off and ready to use. What's really cool about this is I love to come in with uh, fabric paints or really my favorite is like ink tense pencils and come in and color these areas in and create my own unique fabric that no one else is going to have. So that is what is so exciting to me about this kit is that you can create your own projects that no one else will have. So there's eight different backgrounds for those pieces. And then we have our postcards. And I will show you what that looks like printed on fabric. And really, depending on your fabric choice, you can get different variations, different looks. Uh, I also like to print them out on um, cardstock and use them in my journals. You could um, make your side piece of your mug rug into a pocket and print these and slip them in the pocket. 
So you have the postcards. You have different sayings that you can applicate to your quilt. This is the same sayings uh, printed on fabric. You can go in and individually cut the ones that you want to use and applique them to different parts on your mug rug. And then you have the applique templates themselves. You have a larger heart and a smaller one. You have this heart here, which I'm going to show you interlocks. You would cut two of them and applique them to the top of your quilt, just like that. And I don't believe we're doing that today in today's video, but I will make one and show you that at a later date. And then a two small stamp templates if you need help in cutting a fabric piece for your stamp. So that is everything that's included in this kit. You can see how many different variations you could do. You could print just the background for this piece and use store-bought fabrics. You could omit the postcard altogether uh, and just put the hearts on. So many different ways. That's why I'm so excited. Pardon the plane going by in the background. I thought today I would make just yet another variation, something similar to this with the fabrics that I printed out earlier, and we're just going to have fun for a little bit and see what we come up with. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to use this as my main block again. I will add a postcard and we're going to do a solid piece on the side uh, using this background fabric, the swirls. This is the full size print out, but I'm going to trim it down and use it as uh, the side piece. So we're going to cut this at four and a half inches wide. One, two, three, four and a half. And I will save this because we can use this in a project down the road somewhere. And then we're going to cut it at eight inches long. There's our side piece. And then now we're going to go ahead and cut the main block out. And this will be eight and a half. Let's look at the instructions just to make sure. Yep, eight and a half inches wide. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half. It's already eight and a half. <laughs> We're going to cut it eight inches long. Sometimes my brain does not want to work, especially when I'm super excited to do something. I have to really think about what I'm doing before I mess up. This is going to be eight inches exactly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's our main part of our mug rug. Again, I'm going to save that because we can use that down the road. And you can see how this will come together. And when I sew it, I'm going to sew it so that this lace trim is just like that. I'm going to go ahead and sew these together and we'll come right back. Next thing I thought I would do with this mug rug is to take this postcard and actually turn it into a pocket on the front of our little quilt. To do that, this time I'm going to use some heat and bond light and I'm going to iron that to the back side of my postcard. 
make sure it's covering the postcard all the way. Just like that. Just secure that down. Let it cool off. And I have a backing fabric that I picked out. So we're going to lay the backing fabric face down. This will be on the inside of the pocket. Just in case you can see inside that pocket, we want it to have a finished look. I'm going to peel the back off of the heat and bond light and you can see the adhesive is the shiny stuff that's left on there. We're going to go ahead and adhere these two pieces together and heat set that. Basically gluing these two pieces together. Now what I'm going to do is take my rotary cutter and cut out my postcard on the lines. Then I'm going to take like a decorative stitch or a zigzag stitch and just go around the outside of my pocket so that it doesn't stay or so that it stays together over long enduring use. All right, here we are. Here's our postcard and the top of our mug rug all sewn together. I sewed some lace into this side and used a quarter inch seam allowance to sew this together. I put both right sides together and in the middle between these two pieces I put my lace and so the lace is actually sewn in to the seam nice and neat. And then I did change my mind about the postcard. I went ahead, oops, sorry, and it just did a zigzag stitch along this top here because the rest of the zigzag stitch to keep this together will be actually the stitch that holds it onto our mug rug and it'll be around these sides and creating an open pocket up at the top. And I just applicate a piece of fabric as the stamp. So we're ready to go ahead and applique this in place, just like that. I'm going to bring you over to the sewing machine and I'll show you how I do the zigzag stitch just to secure this postcard onto our back fabric. You can see the back is the finished fabric side. I'm going to bring you in at this angle. Hopefully you can see how I sew this on together. I've decided I want to place this down towards the bottom and that will allow room to actually use this as a pocket. Just making sure that that is straight. We're going to just hold it in place. Let's bring our needle back over. I have a foot on that allows for a zigzag stitch and I'm just going to stitch this in place if my threads cooperate. There we go. I'm going to start up at this top right hand corner. Bring the needle down just like that. I'm going to just do a couple of stitches and then I'm going to do a back stitch and that'll lock that into place. Like that and now we're ready to just sew this down. We're going to pivot with the needle in the down position. get this last side. And when we get to this end, again, we're going to do a couple back stitches just to lock that in place. Okay. 
button just like that. We now have a pocket that can, uh, you could put notes or another postcard or all kinds of stuff in there. All right, let's go look at picking some backing fabric. And uh, no, I think I want to add a little quote saying to this. So I'm going to do that and then we'll pick out some back fabric. All right, here we are, you guys. I went ahead and added some heat and bond light to the back of my quote fabric and then cut that out and just did a zigzag stitch to secure that down. This little mug rug will have a nice clean finish versus this one which has more of a like a shabby chic kind of applique finish to it. I went ahead and cut my backing fabric and my batting and have made my layers and I'm ready to go ahead and quilt this. Uh, you can see how the little pocket will work. I just used the printable that I printed out on cardstock. And uh, see how that pocket works? Yay! You could put little goodies in there, some tea bags or uh, all kinds of different little things in there. Um, I'm ready to go ahead and get this quilted and I'm going to come back when everything is done. All right, here we go. Here's my finished mug rug. As you can see, I came in with a Pigma graphics pen. These are archival ink pens and you can write on fabric and it's permanent and it doesn't bleed into your fabric. So if you're looking for a good pen that you can write on fabric, I highly recommend these types of pens. And then I took some Tim Holtz Distress Ink and went around my edges just to age it up a little bit and here and there throughout the fabric. I have everything binded and it's already done. I did very minimal quilting on this project. I just did a straight line of quilting right through here to make sure it just keeps everything in place. You can see my little pocket and then this is my postcard. I inked the edges to make it look a little older and put a stamp. And on the back I used one of my stamps just to decorate it a little bit. And that can go in there and you can put some tea bags like I said, all kinds of little treats inside this pocket. You could write a message to whoever you're giving your mug rug to. Um, but this is it you guys. Totally different look. Same exact kit. And the possibilities are endless. So I hope you enjoyed this. It wasn't much of a tutorial, uh, but I wanted to show you how you can use the elements to create your own type of mug rug. I look forward to doing other um, projects using this kit. We're going to do um, this raw edge applique. We're going to use ink tints. Um, inks to color some of our fabric blocks. We're going to do all kinds of stuff. I'm super excited. I can't wait to create a whole bunch of different ones of these. And uh, just to let you know, if you purchase the pattern, you can sell your mug rugs that you make using this kit. However, you cannot resell the kit. So keep that in mind. It is nice to have a pattern that you can use uh, to use commercially meaning that you can sell your finished products when you're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this little walkthrough of my kit. Again, the listing is down below. If you have questions, comment or find me over on Facebook. My uh, Facebook link will also be down below. Bye, you guys.